Okay, this is the circulatory man. Um, so this is the heart. This is the right chamber of the heart. This is the right atrium. Um, this is the left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. Um, valves, um, this is the pulmonary valve. This is the aortic valve here. You can call it the pulmonary semilunar valve or the aortic semilunar valve. Okay. Going here, this is the, uh, there's a valve here that's called the tricuspid valve. And there's a valve here that's called the bicuspid valve, also known as the right atrioventricular valve or the left atrioventricular valve. Right AV, left AV. Okay. Um, arteries, okay, this is the aorta. This part of the aorta is the ascending aorta. This part of the aorta is the aortic arch. And this going down is the descending aorta. The aortic arch makes, um, there are three branches coming out of the aortic arch. Right here, this is the brachiocephalic trunk, the one in red, the one in red here. The second one is the common carotid artery, the left common carotid artery. And this one here is the left subclavian artery. Okay, it's so going back here, the right, uh, sorry, the brachiocephalic trunk then splits or branches to become the right common carotid artery and the right subclavian artery. Okay? So it's not symmetrical. So again, this is the right subclavian artery, the right common carotid artery, the left common carotid artery, and the left subclavian artery. Okay? So going here, the left subclavian artery then becomes the axillary artery around the armpit region. Then it becomes the brachial artery, the one in red, along the humerus. Then it be branches around the elbow region to become the ulnar, ul, um, ulnar artery, okay. to become the superficial palm arch. Then the uh, brachial artery also branches to form the radial artery. Okay. Go back here, the descending um, aorta becomes the thoracic aorta, which runs posteriorly uh, behind the heart. Then the thoracic aorta pierces through or uh, crosses the diaphragm through an opening of the diaphragm called the aortic hiatus and then becomes now the abdominal aorta once it passes into the abdominal region. So from here to here is the abdominal aorta. The, uh, there are several branches of vessels coming out of the abdominal aorta. These here branching out of the abdominal aorta. Okay. Um, this first one, there's a stump right here. This is called the celiac trunk. Um, this is not the best view, so look at new lecture notes. Um, here, this is the superior, superior mesenteric artery. These are the right and the left renal arteries. This is the inferior mesenteric artery, and this is the middle sacral artery. Okay. The abdominal aorta then branches to form the right and the left common iliac artery. Um, so let's follow this artery here. So the left common iliac artery branches to become the, inter the left internal iliac artery and the left external iliac artery. When the artery runs along the um, femur, this is called the femoral artery part of the artery that runs behind your knee is called the popliteal artery. Okay. Then it branches to come the posterior tibial artery and also the other branch going anterior, anteriorly is called the uh, anterior tibial artery. At this part is called the dorsalis pedis artery. Okay, now let's go over the veins. Um, this is the great saphenous vein. Okay. This right here is the um, external iliac vein. 
that's the internal iliac vein, that's the common iliac vein, and then the uh, right and left common iliac veins then join together to form the inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava passes through the diaphragm through an opening called the vena cava foramen. The inferior vena cava comes up and also empties into the um, right atrium of the heart. Okay, um, going on this side here, from your upper limbs, um, you have the basilic vein. Okay, going up to form the axillary vein. And on the other side, uh, lateral side, you have the cephalic vein. Okay, joining with the axillary vein to form then the subclavian vein. Okay, this is the right subclavian vein. Um, here, this is the median cubital vein. Okay, um, the right subclavian vein, um, and the this is the left subclavian vein here. Um, the subclavian vein joins with the in, um, internal jugular vein here to form this part right here. Okay, this is called the left and the right brachiocephalic vein. So this is the left brachiocephalic vein. This is the right brachiocephalic vein. The right and left brachiocephalic veins join together to form the superior vena cava. The superior vena cava then empties into the right atrium. This vessel here is the pulmonary trunk the pulmonary trunk branches to form the right and the left pulmonary arteries, which makes further branching into the um, lung, <clears throat> into the lungs for gas exchange.